I went to Walgreens and I found some super great deals. I found some awesome clearance and I picked up some freebies and money makers. So if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. Okay y'all, here is everything that I got at Walgreens. So I did two separate transactions, one on my account and one on my husband's account. Both accounts had um, $5 Walgreens cash back when you spend $20 boosters. So I used both of those today. I actually went in the store not planning on using both accounts, but I found some great deals and I just couldn't pass them up. So first we're going to start with uh, some clearance finds that I found. My store doesn't usually have very good clearance back in my little clearance section, but today was a good day. Everything was marked. And so I found some great deals. Okay. I grabbed these Olay, uh, their eczema prone skin body wash. So these were marked down. One of them has the original price on this receipt. Let me look. These were $1.29. Originally $12.99. So they were 90% off. But I scanned them in the app to see if there was any coupons that would possibly attach, which there was not. Uh, but they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I picked up two in hopes that they would ring up that way, even though they were on sale. And they did. So $1.29 and 64 cents for these two, which is a great deal, I think, for that body wash. I also found this Kind Bark, which I'm excited to try. It's dark chocolate and roasted peanuts. This was... 48 cents. This was the only one that they had, so I went ahead and picked it up. And it doesn't expire until November of this year. If it'll focus, let me move that in front of my face. Yeah, so 11 of 21. It'll definitely get eaten by then. I found so these, <laughs> these always pads have been sitting in my clearance section for what feels like forever and I always wondered how much they were but not enough to actually ask so they were finally marked today and they were 60 cents so I went ahead and picked those up um I also found these chapsticks these were 20 cents each I guess I should be showing you guys the UPC so that you can check your store there's the chapstick UPC you can always screenshot these or pause the video. I think I kind of already showed you that one, but there's that. Kind Bark. Here's the Always. And there's the Olay. Okay, so those were just super great clearance. Um, I had planned to grab a couple of other things in this transaction and my store just didn't have it. So I was glad to find those to get my total up to $30 because I also had a paper booster that was going to expire today for $7 back when I spend $30. Okay. I saw these on Instagram. I don't remember who posted them, but the nice cashew halves and pieces these are $1.88 and they are buy one get one free I think it's just this kind not just this kind but the cashew halves and pieces so this one's lightly salted they also had I think a honey roasted one but it looked like it was just the cashews so it was $1.88 for two of those and then I picked up a Twix this was 88 cents and Shopkick is giving back 200 kicks for buying this and 25 kicks for scanning this. And this did scan, uh, which is 90 cents. That makes this a two cent money maker. <clears throat> I picked up two Oral-B toothbrushes. These are $3 each. Make sure you grab the $3 ones. They also have $4 ones, which um, is a different promotion. And it's not as good of a deal. 
So these ones are $3 each. And we have $3 off to coupon, a digital coupon. And it, then if you buy two, it's printing a $3 register award, which makes those free. And then I picked up two Colgate toothbrushes. I don't seem to get the Colgate toothbrushes a lot. I, um, we can always get the toothpaste. But I picked up the toothbrushes. These are $4. And um, same type of deal. There's a $4 off of two digital coupon. And we're getting a $4 register reward. Now, my kiddo wanted to have a movie theme birthday party this year. So I am stocking up on candy because we are doing a drive-in movie in our front yard. And so we're going to have the concession stand and everything. So when I saw these candy deals, I just went for it. I picked up two of the Airheads ropes. These are two for $3. And I bought us giving back 75 cents each. And Shoptake is giving back 225 kicks for buying one and 20 kicks for scanning one, which is 98 cents, which makes two of these 52 cents for both of them, um, or 26 cents each. Now, if you wanted to just do one, it would be a money maker. but like I said, I'm stocking up on candy for that birthday party, so I grabbed two. All right, the next deal was on the Sour Punch Straws. These are four for four dollars or like one for a dollar sixty-nine. So I picked up four of them. And then I bought it is giving back 55 cents on each one, which makes one each one just 45 cents. And that was four more dollars towards my 30 that I needed to spend. And the last thing I grabbed was the red vines. I picked up three red vines and I ended up picking up one um, hot tamale. Okay, so this deal would be better if you could get four red vines and I still only had three. And when I went to the checkout, I didn't think this would ring up four for four because the red vines are $1.59 each if you buy one and all the other candies were $1.69 each if you buy one. Didn't think this would ring up four for four, and it didn't. Uh, they rang up regular price, but I just mentioned in passing to my cashier that I hoped that they ring up for four for four because there weren't four red vines, and she price overrode it for me. So she rang them all in as a dollar, which was so nice of her because she did not have to do that. So these uh, were four for four, and then I bought us giving us back 45 cents on each one of these. So I got that back three times, nothing for the hot tamales. I actually just bought these because my dad likes them. So he'll be at the birthday party and he can have those. But uh, if you could get four of them, you could get an extra 45 cents on Ibotta. That makes the red vines 55 cents each and the hot tamales were a dollar. That was it on my first transaction. So the total for all of that was $31.17. I had $7 in digital coupons for the Colgate and the Oral-B. Uh, those came off just fine, which I'm not used to having because a lot of times one or the other will not work. And I also use register rewards to pay for, um, pay down some of my total. So I was hoping it didn't kick it out and it didn't. I think I just had enough stuff that didn't have coupons that they just attached to that. Okay, uh, I got back $5.05 on Ibotta for that candy. Shopkick gave me back $1.88. And then on this transaction, I got back $12.31 in Walgreens cash. Five of that was from the digital booster. And seven was from my paper booster, and then 31 cents just every day amount. Uh, so that brought the total for all of those items to a two dollar and seven cent money maker. 
And then, because I was there and I had another account to work with and that Olay was on sale, so I, let me, let me walk through the method to me doing two transactions of this. I know that Olay is on sale um, and printing a $4 register award. These did not work with a $4 register award, which is fine. I was not counting it into my total. I was just hoping it would have been a nice bonus, but we didn't get it. So I went ahead and broke these up into two transactions. Um, so this was the second transaction. These are different Olay. They are the uh, cleansing and renewing with retinol. I will show you the UPC for those. So these were a little bit less. They're $1.09. They were still buy one, get one 50% off. So the second one rang up for 54 cents. So I made them $1.63 for two bottles, which is a pretty good price. Okay, I, this time I picked up, I did the same Oral-B deal, so two toothbrushes, three off of two digital, and uh, the $3 register award printed for that. This time I picked up two Colgate mouthwashes, so these are the same deal, I just got the mouthwash instead. They're $4 each, that $4 off of two digital came off, and I got my $4 printed register award. And then my, actually they are not register awards. I just looked, um, the Colgate is a store coupon. So be careful with these. You can only use one per transaction. And then the Crest is a manufacturer coupon, which is nice. They both, again, I mean, they both have pros and cons. So I'll still use them. It doesn't really matter to me what they are. Just have to be careful how you use them. I grabbed the one Febreze plug that my store had. These are $2.99 and we have $3 digital coupons. I did not think the digital coupon would attach because it's more than the item. Although if I would have ordered it online, it was definitely attaching that way, but it didn't attach. Um, I did contact Walgreens chat right before I filmed this and they credited me $3 um, instead of $2.99. So penny money maker, I guess. But if you're going to do this and you don't want to mess with Walgreens chat, just order this online if you can. I noticed um, these say that they're out of stock in my store. And also for shipping to store, you can only ship it to your house, which is a whole thing in and of itself. You have to have $35 after coupons to ship for free. And it's just not worth it to get one thing. But I did get that. It was free plus a one-cent money maker. And then I needed a little bit more to put my total over that $20. Um, I was gonna get the, the mints, the Mentos mints. My store was completely wiped out. I did see that there is a shelf tag, so they must carry them, but they were out. So I was wandering around, I almost went back to the clearance section and got some more Olay because there was one more bottle, but it would have been full price and then I wouldn't have had a half price one, it doesn't matter. They have Oreos on sale this week for $1.99. Uh, when I was looking at these, there was a couple that came in. They were very impressed that they were only $1.99. So I think they ended up picking up two packages, which, I mean, yeah, $1.99 is a great price. So I grabbed those as kind of a filler item to get me to that $20. How is it on that one? So that total was $20.61. I had $7 in coupons that came off um, for the Colgate and the Crest. And then that left me to pay $13.61 out of pocket. Um, I got back $7 in register rewards. And then for Walgreens cash, I got back my $5. When you spend 20, I got back my $3 in Walgreens cash for that for Breeze plug and 20 cents for just like everyday points or whatever they are so that was eight dollars and 20 cents in walgreens cash which brought my total for that transaction to a dollar 59 money maker okay 
let me flip you around. I will show you everything all together and we will talk about how much it costs. All right, here's everything that I got all together. I forgot to mention, thank you to Designer Jen for the candy deals. Like I said, those are going to come in handy for my kiddo's birthday. So thanks to her. All right, so the total for all of this was $51.78. I had $14 in coupons. So that means my total was $37.78. Um, after coupons. Now, like I said, I did use register rewards to pay that down just a little bit. Um, so I ended up paying like $27.78 out of pocket plus tax. But um, I got back $14 in register rewards and store coupons. So eight in store coupon and six in um register awards that doesn't make sense oh yeah okay yeah 14 dollars. i'm sorry guys it's really late i can't do math <laughs> okay and then i got back a dollar 88 from shopkick five dollars and five cents from ibotta twenty dollars and 51 cents in walgreens cash and that includes that um three dollars for the Febreze plug which brings my grand total for everything to a three dollar and sixty six cent money maker i also got these boosters that printed so one is earn 20 percent um when you spend ten dollars on regular price items i never seem to use those but i have it so we'll see and the other one is earn eight when you spend 35 and i will definitely use that one before it expired it doesn't expire until the 7th so that can even go into the next sales week. all right that is all i have for you guys if you would like to see more walgreens hauls don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can find out when I post new videos. All right, y'all. That's all I have for you. Bye.